Taking a look at question number 13, it's about quiz scores. You and your friend are having a friendly competition about the scores on your math quizzes. Both of your scores for the first five quizzes are given below. 18, 16, 19, 15, and 17 are your quiz scores, so let's hope that's out of 20 and not a percent. Uh, your friend's quiz scores are 20, 20, 13, 12, and 17. Um, we're going to need to find the mean, median, and mode of both data sets, and we're going to need to say who has the higher mean. So our first and most important thing is to order these numbers from least to greatest. So for our first person, which is you, um, your scores are 15, I'm going to write that up a little bit higher, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And your friend scores, which will underline that, oops. Those were your scores. Okay, your friend scores, which we'll do in blue, were as follows. They had 12. So some lower scores, 13, 17, so notice that's that same middle number, but then they had two 20s, so let's see what that ends up affecting. Okay, so you've got your scores and you've got your friend's scores. We need to find mean, median, and mode. We're going to do this down at the bottom because there's not a whole lot of space, um, so we're going to find our mean. Median and mode. And then we'll just write in each color. So we'll write in green for your scores and blue for your friend's scores. Okay, so the mean for you, you need to add everything up and divide by five because it was both for five your first five quizzes, so we're dividing by five. So when you add up your score, you end up with 85 points, and then you divide that by five, which is equal to 17. Okay, so your average is 17. Okay, what would your median be? Well, if you worked your way to the center of your data, there's a clear center, uh, 17 would be at that center. So your median would be 17, in your mode, you would have no mode. You don't have a number that occurred multiple times. You got each score only once, so no mode for you. We're going to do the same thing for your friend now. Okay, so mean, we're going to add up all of their scores. Uh, they had a total of 82 points. Divide that over the five tests. That is an average of a 16.4. 16.4. Uh, their median, so working the way towards the center of their data, going to be the same center that you had. We kind of talked about that earlier. Um, their median is also 17. Okay. But they actually have a mode. Their mode would be 20. They scored a 20 twice. Okay, So if you were looking at mode, you might think, ooh, well, your friend is the better person. They, they had a 20 twice, and I didn't have any 20s. But... If you look at their low scores, their low scores are pretty low. Um, so you end up seeing that average out <coughs> um, in your data with you having the higher mean. Okay, So um, the answer to question number part B says which person you or your friend has the higher mean. You have the higher mean. So you have your mean, median, modes um, for both of you, and you had the overall better mean. That's it for question number 13. If you guys have any questions, please email me.